Okay, so here were the word problems you guys had to do in your book, page 194. So we're going to check those together real quick. Number eight said, Jacob made this quilt. It has five rows of blocks with six blocks in each row. Which multiplication sentence shows the number of blocks in the quilt? Okay, so I have five rows, six blocks in each row. So I know my factors should be five, which is my rows, and six in each row. So five times six, the only answer choice that even has the correct numbers being used is what? C, right? So C is the only one that is correct. On these two, you also need to make sure they have the product correct, because sometimes they will give you two multiplication senses that look right, but then throw you off by not having the correct product, okay? Number nine, Karen has six animal posters, which describes one array Karen can make using all of her posters, okay? She has six animal posters. Which array would make six as your uh, total? Would two rows of four make six posters? Well, let's see. If I make two rows with four in each row, does that equal six? No, that equals eight. So it can't be A. B, two rows of three. So one, two, and three in each row. Does that equal six? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. So could that be our answer? Okay, it could be. So let's go ahead and check the rest of them. One row of five, so that's one row, and I need five in it. So one, two, three, four, five. That just equals five. Okay, three rows of three, so one, two, three. And then I make sure I have three in it, so one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's not correct either. So the only one that equaled six was B. Okay, number 10. This is a multi step problem. It says Ashley and Daniel each have a garden with flowers planted in rows. Which multiplication sentence shows the number of flowers in both? gardens. Okay, in my book you can already see I've labeled both gardens. I went ahead and counted all the way across both gardens. Okay, because they are right next to each other, I can do that. I have one, two, three, four rows. See the rows? Two, three, four rows. And then if I combine both of these, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven columns. So four times seven. The only one that has the correct factors was D. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number 11, what multiplication sentence does this array show? Good, I have to count one, two, so two rows. So now I know I can automatically eliminate B. It doesn't have a two in it. And then I count the columns. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two times four, so D is the correct answer. Okay, so now what you're gonna be doing for your assignment is making arrays for multiplication number sentences. So those of you in Seesaw, you have the same equations we're using in class. Yours looks a little different because they're gonna be um, doing it on paper. You guys will have these number sentences and you're gonna make your own array and you can use the shapes or you could just draw dots, draw hearts. It's up to you, but make sure that first that first factor is how many rows you have. 
And then the second factor is how many in each row, or we could say columns. How many in each row, or we just say this is the number of columns. Does that make sense? Okay. All right, so go ahead and get that done in Seesaw, and I look forward to seeing your work.